guys how are you happy friday happy bank holiday weekend whatever you're doing hope it's going to be a good one for you got some nice plans going on uh this is a bonus tower reading um and it's one with a difference because whilst i will still be doing my normal one on sunday hopefully sunday might be monday um this is for because the messenger card came up today for my gypsy deck i thought i would do one especially for situationship so you're not quite in a relationship with someone or you were and then you're not hearing from them or you're not speaking to them or vice versa how they're feeling how you're feeling that type of thing thought i'd just give a general overview of the energy that's being picked up okay so this is reading is not for you if you are married and happily married if you are with somebody and there's no relationship queries whatsoever it's for all the other stuff okay so let's begin let's see what is coming in for you i'm going to do it slightly different oh so i'm going to do it where your three cards at the top and then um we'll do them as the bottom three cards and then uh, we'll see an outcome okay so let's have a look and see what is coming in so i'm gonna ask now uh what is coming up for my question uh, questioners three cards with the glass with situation shit for my questioners and what is coming in so three cards for my questioners what is coming in for my questioners oh this is so interesting already what is coming in what is coming in Okay, I'm going to get a clarify for the last card. Can I have a clarifier? Please may I have a clarifier for the last card. Just connect to the divine. Right, okay. So I'm going to read you guys. <clears throat> and I'm going to say, it ain't walking through the park, okay? But I would have kind of expect that anyway, because if it was walking through the park, you would be watching this thinking, oh, what's going to happen, okay? So you've either blocked somebody, um, or literally blocked them off social media or whatever, um, or you have just taken a step back and you ain't speaking to them. There's no communication when this card comes up, guys. So, um, or if there is communication, it's quite defensive or it's like a drip, drip, drip of the tap. This, there's no fluidity with this. But the fact that this is you in your position shows you've either found something out or you have got to a point with this person where you've either said how you feel and there's just no kind of wood for the trees type energy at the moment so you're blocking you're defensive um and at the same time with the five of swords coming up here this can mean arguments so whatever has happened there's not being an eye to eye type of energy coming up here okay now what i do want to say with the five of swords coming up here if it comes to you and the other person is a little bit well, I'm like this because you said this, 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 this. The advice for the Five of Swords is do not lower your energy. Do not settle. Do not try and get your point across to a point where it's pedantic. Where it's almost like, yeah, but last time on April the 6th at 8pm, you said this to me. Nothing like that. It's about standing your truth, standing your ground, which is exactly what this is. And if it means taking the energy away, then so be it, okay? The reason why I asked... Um, for a clarifier card well there's clearly no communication or there's just not you're not on the same page okay uh the tower is in your energy also and i this is the bolt out the blue so i asked for a clarifier and you've got this amazing card here which is the ten of pentacles okay so there is a sense of peace coming in to you and the fact that we did get that messenger card coming in it will either come to you in the form of a message um and it will bring that sense of completion fulfillment not that anyone makes you complete or fulfilled uh but there's going to be some sort of clarity um either some news coming up that you didn't expect um or maybe a justification as to why somebody has acted a certain way but with you being this energy at the moment guys i can see you are are not in a position where you are going to sit down face to face with a person um, and say okay well let's hear all your story okay um, it's like you've had enough it's like you're going I can't be bothered with this the cycle has been going on for too long if you want to get hold of me then I you know if you haven't blocked them so they can get hold of you um, then it will be coming in but you're not in that open mind frame so they've clearly said or done something or acted in a certain way um that you are not happy with okay so the tower and the ten of pentacles about at the blue but it's a sudden kind of um I was going to say sudden completion, but I just feel um, there's going to be making space for some new grounds with regards to this connection. I know I haven't done that energy yet, but I'm going to have a look at this in a minute because the tower creates space, guys, um, for a new kind of 
ground underneath it. So um, that tower in the background there is a brand new tower. So either you are literally turning your back on this energy and thinking I'm going to create a new life um, with or without this person. At the moment, it looks like without you. Not your thinking isn't sympathetic at the moment um, um but there's going to be some sort of i'm just feeling that there's going to be some sort of light bulb moment for you okay um whether or not this is regards to some news coming in let's have a look we will see um so let's see now so i'm going to ask you now about the other person's energy and see what is coming up so i'm going to ask the guides the divine uh what is coming up with reference to the other person and their energy Hmm. Right, okay. I'm going to get a clarifier for the last card. So it's a bit, uh, see, at the bottom here, you've got the five of wands. So you've got five of swords here, five of wands there. This is conflict. But it's got to a point, maybe uh, with regards to conflict, um, that you were standing your ground, you had your point. However, as time goes on, it can start to get a little bit too much like he said, she said type of thing, okay? Their energy is quite interesting. So they've got the chariot, they've got a major arcana energy coming up in their position. This is moving forwards, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're moving forwards away from you, but they feel like they've got no other choice at the moment to carry on doing what they're doing, whatever that is, because they're not getting any communication from you, okay? I feel maybe if you opened up and whatever, you, know, you can do what you want to do but message them they wouldn't tell you to go away because of this energy coming up here okay but this is almost like they're trying to find the balance and how to move forward so whether or not this person that you were dealing with was all over the place um but they're trying to figure it out themselves now because underneath your five of uh, swords energy which is all about can be conflict they've got the nine of cups which is the opposite end of the spectrum okay but this is a wishes card so they're kind of wishing um for you to come back in they're kind of wishing for something on an energy level here with regards to emotion so you wouldn't necessarily know this because of the lack of communication energy um but with the queen of swords coming up here they are also defensive but they're not too sure how you are going to receive them if they do get in touch with you the open hand here means there is a window for them to keep it open um but they're not sure they're not sure what would happen if you uh, message it or what if they messaged you even not if you message them um they i feel with this they're kind of waiting for you to get in touch when i asked what the queen of swords was why was she here um you got the three of wands basically meaning they are thinking more about you than what you realize the three of wands um is a very stationary energy however they are thinking more um with regards to what they want with regards to a relationship because with the chariot card here it's the four of wands that follows the three which is more stability so i do feel your person um could have not been either very mature in how they approach certain situations um, or just not communicating to a point where you've got so fed up but don't think that there's absolutely nothing there that they're doing what they're doing they're trying to um but there is an element of feeling that longing sense okay i'm going to ask why is the uh, nine of cups coming up in their position so i'm going to ask now why is the nine of cups yeah so they want a brand new face okay so you've got the world card you haven't they have got the world card coming up here but because this is the wishes card they're wishing for it so it doesn't mean an actuality because i'm just picking up on the energy there's no positions here with regards to external situations outcomes that type of thing this is a feeling energy okay so they want a new phase and i just feel they're trying really really hard guys to maneuver themselves in the right direction but it's not happening at the moment but don't underestimate the chariot because it, it it builds momentum, it carries on, it carries on, it carries on through inner strength. So whether or not they were more in their masculine energy or whatever that is, there is balance coming back in. But the Queen of Swords is defensive, okay? But the Queen of Swords also is somebody um, who can be slightly... What they would be doing is preempting what you're going to say to them and they'll have an answer to it okay rather than just listening and thinking okay well fair point whatever that is well if so and so says this to me i'm going to say this back okay but there is a feeling here there is emotion here but it looks like you're more set in a certain direction than they are okay so you're more annoyed than they are but they're just like well 
what am I going to do type thing, okay? So whatever this person has done, it's put you in a situation um, where you're not too happy with them, okay? But if you're wondering whether they're thinking about you, um, the Nine of Cups will suggest that they're wishing for something to happen with regards to entering into a new phase, okay? So they're more ready, I think, than what they even realise. They maybe just weren't admitting it to themselves. So let's have a look as an overall clarifier, as an outcome with regards to this connection, what is going to be happening? What is going to be happening? Can I have another one, please? Oh, I saw that at the bottom there. So this is a message coming in. This is the um, Knight of Cups. So this could be a message coming in and it could link well to that message um, energy that I did today, the card that came up today. So I'm gonna ask, is there another one entering into this energy? Oh, shuffle them again and there he is again. Not everything is at it see, like it seems, guys. Just because you're not hearing from somebody, it does not mean that they're not thinking about you. Wheel of Fortune, everything is fated, okay? So you might bump into them, or you might, I don't know, whatever you're doing this bank holiday weekend, they could be the same place as you, and you think, oh, I didn't expect to see you here type thing. It'd be like that. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune is, there's so much more fate working with this connection than what you realise, okay? I do feel, um, with them being the chariot, that they are addressing certain issues within themselves. Um, and when I asked if there was any other clarifier, you've got the death slash rebirth card coming up here, which is entering into a new cycle again. So it's interesting how you've got the world in their position um, and the overall energy um, is coming up as again it's a new cycle different type of cycle the world is very slow moving and I think to be honest with you with this energy with this person they might internalize quite a lot um, and but it could have been like pulling teeth trying to get from A to B with them so it was like okay well actions speak louder than words they could be talking the talk but not walking the walk and this is why you're so peed off with them and I'm thinking sod this I'm not doing this they've messed me around too much I'm uh, blocking them off type thing or you just don't hear at all and you think I'm not waiting around. I'm not on anyone's sub bench. Um, so that's what it feels like also. But the fact that you've got two major arcana coming up as a clarifier means this isn't small movements. Okay? It's not small movements, meaning if you know, if this wasn't meant to be, if you're not meant to reconnect, these would be minor energies coming up as clarifiers and how you as a person with free will would determine where you want to go with that. You do have that anyway, don't forget that. Uh, but the Wheel of Fortune is so, so powerful. And because it's number 10, you've got the world, there is a new cycle coming in, but the good the good energy coming up here is the 10 of Cups and the Nine of um, Cups, one in your position, one in their position also. So I do feel what is coming up, what's brewing is a message coming your way. Um, um, and I think you're going to be surprised, which is exactly why the tower card is coming up in your position, okay? So let's leave it as that. That's a little overview of a situation ship. Hope it gave, gave you some clarity. Other than that, don't worry about it. Let the universe work it out. Uh, maybe you're going to get your message this weekend, maybe not, but don't put a timeline on things. The minute we put timelines and stuff and think, oh, I'm going to wait until 5 p.m. on Sunday and see what happens, you're putting a barrier up, okay? Stay fluid. Stay fluid with this. Anyway, have a lovely, lovely bank holiday weekend, guys. Have a lovely Friday, Saturday, and I'll speak to you on Sunday. Take care.